Hello again from Elation Productions. Today I've got some more work with my laser that I'm going to show you. Uh, as you can see I got a piece of brass in front of me which I have polished up and I'm going to make a little placard with. And normally I would need uh, for etching onto metals uh, either a fiber laser or something with a great deal more power than the 100 watt CO2 laser which I have. Uh, but I have an assistant here this is a uh, Ceramark, this is a spray-on, this is their M LMM 6000 aerosol and this is a special chemical which you spray on, it looks like a gray primer of sorts and this is for leaving black permanent marks on uh, metals using a lower power laser than you normally would need. Uh, this stuff is rather expensive at 80 bucks a can but it does seem to work very well. Um, so I'm going to just spray this on here. Uh, you can imagine it just looks like a gray primer of sorts. Nothing real special to see here. My wonderful cheap camera lost the original footage of me spraying it on. And because it's $80 a can, I'm sorry I'm not going to show you that again. You'll just have to use your imagination. It just looks like a gray light primer. Nothing special. but it will go on as such and we will use the laser to burn this chemical on the surface into the brass which is going to leave a dark permanent black mark in it and I will show you that right now And here we have the finished product. The parts of the Surmark coating untouched by the laser rinsed off easily with water and left behind permanent black marks you see here on the brass. I then trimmed the plate from the sheet and gave it a clear powder coat to preserve the bright polished finish of the brass. As you can see, this nameplate is going to 3D machines to go on the side of a new drill press in Dalton's shop which I helped to contribute to last December. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing this demonstration of laser etching on metal with Surmark LMM 6000 spray. It's a rather costly spray can, but it works very well. Thanks for watching. Please check out my Instagram page at Alation Innovations. I tend to post project pictures more frequently there. Anyhow, thanks again, and until next time.